beat. All up in there. Look, you got a big old leech. It ain't mine, it's fine. I, I, I knew it was gonna happen, I was literally like, I was saying, I was like, <laughs> you might want to set that crack. <laughs> we are oh, struggling. Oh. We're out. Plenty. <laughs> Looks like you got a, you got a couple of things sticking out of your boat there. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am out with first mate, overbite all night, and Captain Teeny Trout, aka Lucas. We have just embarked on a five night wilderness adventure. There's something very different about this adventure. Very different indeed. But what that is is something glorious and magical. That's right. We have brought a cooler. For the first time, I brought a massive cooler loaded with ice and goodies. We are going to be feasting like kings this trip. We're not going to do a crazy amount of work as far as portaging. We're on a big lake, and we've got other lakes that are connected that we're going to day fish, day trip. And we plan on catching fish, eating good, and doing lots of fishing. So, it's looking like it could thunderstorm today, and it's supposed to be just hot. We're in early June. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a blast. But it is beautiful, we got an early start today because we stayed at a hotel uh, last night. For the first time I drove, did a hotel, then we started early, and it's nice. We got the whole day now. So uh, we're gonna probably have this guy go swimming soon. He was already in the water a little bit. We're gonna do a little paddling, we're gonna find a campsite, and we're gonna do some fishing. So let's get to the adventure. You already broke the cooler. <laughs> this guy yeah. thinks it's funny just taking like a hundred pound cooler loaded with stuff and just they don't need handles. <laughs> yeah. Now you may be wondering, who is Captain Teeny Trout? Where did he come from? Why is he the way that he is? Well, the only thing I can tell you is how he got his nickname. And for that we must tell a story. You see, there was a time when Sir Captain Teeny Trout could not catch a fish, no matter how hard he tried. He used to come with me and I'd catch fish after fish, just pulling him in the boat and he'd get so jealous. And well, he thought maybe if he changed his vessel, he could catch more fish. So what he did is he went out and got the fanciest vessel he could for fishing. He even let me try it out. <laughs> and even with his new vessel, he still could not catch a fish. So I came up with a plan to take him to a lake where you could catch infinite amounts of fish and he could never not catch a fish. We spent three hours driving down terrible roads and two tracks only to fail getting to the lake and just having to admit defeat. What we then did was go to this other lake right at sunset. And then Lucas, which is Captain Teeny Trout's real name, happened to land upon a monster fish, which was... Yeah, how many is he? Eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, an eight and a half inch teeny trout. And the legend was born. Hey, you didn't get skunked. Yeah, right. That's my first fish. <laughs> Before we go any further, I need to quickly jinx us. We're gonna catch so many fish, it's gonna be insane. We're not even gonna know what to do with all the fish we're gonna catch. It's gonna be amazing. There, it's done. All right, got a leech on a slip bobber. Let's start this thing off right. All right, we've got two wagers. We've got the first fish, which is the most rewarding fish, and then the most, then, then the, the biggest fish, which is the pr most prestigious fish. So now it is currently a battle. What's the heavy artillery? The Whapper Flapper. The Whapper Flapper. I think old Stink Stank there needs, a, needs to get a little wet. 
he needs some swimming. So we are gonna go to the shore and let him get out. You're feeling a little warm. I know you might not enjoy this the most, but there you go. There you go. All right, let's go for a little five minute swim, Monty. Don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> Come on, Monty. Come on. Good oh boy, there you go. There you go. You're not allowed to get, no. Break his line. I think, I think we should go home, but I don't like this. Spit it. We're, we're, we're going home. This is, no. This isn't real life. Monty, you cost me everything with, with, with letting him get the first fish. Rip dry. Rip dry, Monty. Oh, the bull's running away, Monty. Oh, jeez. Oh, Monty, cooling you off costs so much right there. We've already lost half the bet. Let's see this monster of which you speak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had an epic battle for the first fish last time. I was like, I mean, I don't really care if I catch the first fish. I never make a big deal about it. Damn, it's on his head. Nuh-uh. Swear to God. No. 100%. I'm turning the camera on and I'm gonna catch him with this next cast. I'm gonna okay. <laughs> dare me to cast over there. Oh, I got the first fish. <laughs> oh, <man>. No! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that sucks. I was so close. No! 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 These lilies, man. I didn't set the hook properly. There it is. Gallon. No! <laughs> no! Lose it! Oh, look at that jump. Oh, Monty! Oh, dang it! I just had another bite! Monty, stop! Oh, my drag is so tight. Oh, oh no! Yes! <laughs> oh, no. That was a nice bass. <laughs> oh my god. I've never been so happy with my friend losing a fish. No, I've got a bird's nest. Or, I've got a rat's nest. This is not fair. There it is. Man, no! Too loose. This one's... Did you lose him? Uh, he ain't as big as the last one. There's still time. Monty! Oh, jeez, Monty. Jeez, Monty. Man, this dude is fighting. First fish of the trip. And then the time before that, you didn't believe me and we lost that bass. Hey, you got a fish! You got a fish! You got a fish! Get over here! Hurry! Hurry! You got a fish! 
I'm bringing it in if you don't. Get over here. Go for it. What are you doing over there? Put it back there. Oh. Oh, I can't. Here's his left handed. What is it? Oh, oh dude, it's a nice chunky smolly. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. No! No! It snapped your line. What? Like, like a 20 inch smolly. Are you serious? Yeah! I wasn't kidding! I thought you were fucking <laughs> with me! No! Oh my god! Dude, I wasn't kidding at all! No way! Yeah! That thing was huge! Shut the fuck <laughs> up! No! I swear to god! I the... You should have said I'm dead too. I thought you were fucking <laughs> with me. I screamed, dude, you got a fish! And I was like, I'm bringing this thing in. I no, that was the fish splash, and I got it oh to shore, God. and it took off and snapped the line. I said, if you'd have played your cards right, you'd have had the first fish every trip so far. Yeah. But you missed out on the first one. You're, you're stealing my thunder. Get out of here. I can't believe I haven't caught a fish yet. There's no point of, of, of being out here. Yeah, we've been out here 20 minutes, like, <laughs> only one fish. Oh, bobber's gone. Nice. Ah, sweet, sweet victory. Get on there. Oh, it's got to be a bass. Oh, she's a bobby. She's a booby. She's a nice booby. Oh, Bobbert. Hello, Bobbert. Bobbethy. I might put a floater on. I'll give you a floater. Oh, come on, Bobby. Ow. There we go. Nice Bobby bass. Notice how it is much larger than his. <laughs> right. So since we got the entire day, and we're mostly going to be hanging around this big lake and day fishing in other lakes, we're going to go troll our way to a campsite, set up, and then, you know, get all situated, and then we'll head out and do some more fishing. So you might, uh, some of you watching might remember this, might have a little memory of where we are. We're pretty much doing a repeat of his first wilderness trip out here. And the second one, or no, it was the first one. Yeah, the first. We had, right where we're at right now, we had quite a fun paddle. <laughs> his first uh, taste of big waves in the canoe. <laughs> I definitely was a little nervous. Oh, just beautiful out right now. I thought it was going to feel too hot, but there's a nice cool breeze coming up like. Oh, that loon that loon disappeared. La -la -la -loon. La -la -la -loon. What did you burp? How rude. Yeah, I might have to walk it. Maybe. There was a toad orgy. Here's the dragonflies.
Here's one. They they crawl out from the water from those larvae and then they hatch in the sun. This one doesn't look like it's. Oh no, it's still good. It's alive. Maybe we'll find other ones. It looks like we're a little late to the party. But yeah, they 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 crawl up onto the land. They come out and they fly away. We saw it last year in like real time. This one's coming out. Oh, that's so crazy. birth of a dragonfly. The birth of a dragonfly. It emerged from its shell. That's yeah, crazy. Just, like, popping their wings and like flying up. Yeah. So they go from that where you saw them crawl out and they extend their wings to sitting like this on the rock. Oh and it just took off. Oh yeah. I just seen to fish. No, it didn't hit bottom. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. It looks like a wall, actually. Does it? I just saw its belly. It's a bass. It's shaking the bass. Oh, we got a booby. We got a booby. A booby, a booby bass. Oh, booby, don't splash me. I need to get a leaf set up going. Yeah, you do. There was a, I, I a ton of bass in the water back there. Oh, I'm counting it. I just don't want to get my net out. All right, Booby. You calm down. I let you free faster. I promise. Booby. Got yourself a booby? Looks like he's happy. Yeah? Ooh. Ooh, that is a chunker. This net is like it's foamy and Ooh. it floats. It's like it's hard to maneuver in the water. Nice. It's speed. Let's see that boobster. Oh, that's a fish so far. Oh. I found 16 incher. Monty. I'm just messing with ya. I'm just messing with ya. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how nice it is. Right. What it what is it, June eighth? Yeah, it's pretty warm. This is warm for June eighth. This is like summertime. We're just gonna mope, mosey on to setting up, get out there doing a little fishing. Come back, do a little more moseying. Go for some evening fishing. It's gonna be lots of moseying. Lots of moseying. Gonna be relaxing and fishing. Uh, uh, uh. Get it, Monty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Monty abandoned me last night at the hotel. He jumped on Lucas's bed. And now look at him, he's he's over near Lucas sleeping in his hammock. I think he's had it with me. Ever since the jump scare, our relationship hasn't been the same. Hey, 
bad. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. But <laughs> I'm sorry, my team. <laughs> it's scary. I'm so sorry. We have been relaxing. Uh, we're here in the fish jump. It is just super hot and still out right now. We just kind of we just kind of get a little sleepy, you know. You get out here. It doesn't matter if you've been out here a week or five minutes. It's just so relaxing. We just wanted to kind of doze off, take a little nap. So it's been a couple hours just chilling, and uh, yeah, now we're uh, gonna set up quick, and I think we're gonna go we're gonna go catch some fish. Um, so we're gonna have some fish dinners. At least we're planning on it. Right now, we're not going to be keeping any bass. What we are going to do is keep walleye. So I brought out the sleeping pads I'm using this time are the two pads that Monty popped on the last trip. Yeah, he popped both pads. Uh, I've got patches on them, so I, I think they were leaking air a little bit, one of them. So I might need to fix it up, but anyways, we'll see. sit in the boat without getting a little wet quick. This is going to be an interesting trip if it's hot, this hot every day. What is it? What, Monty? What, you silly goose? What are you doing? What, what do you think you hurt, huh? I don't even know what you're talking about, Monty. I don't even know. Silly goose. <laughs> okay, okay, Monty. You're always ready for battle, aren't you? You're always ready for battle, aren't you, mister? <laughs> In the multi time when the multi is hot, he will jump right in and will hot the drop. He's a multi T. He smells like a sticky poo 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 pee. Multi T T T. He has got some BD. Nice. Okay, well, let's, uh. We're all set up here. Now it's time to go in the boot and have a some fun. It's just too dang hot, Monty. You don't have to swim if you don't want to, okay? Yeah, I knew you was coming swimming, Monty. There was no doubt in my mind. Hi, buddy. Hi. Let me get your butt. Oh, I got ya. I got your butt. I got your butt. Yeah. I got your butt wet. Oh my gosh. Ooh, there's like a nice, cool little current. Well, oh, that feels nice. All aboard the SS Hot Hot Hot. All aboard. Come on, Monty. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, yo, stink stink. Come on. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> Significantly down compared to the last time we were here. The only reason I'm doing this 
is because I got the little thingy on the bottom of my boat. Perfectly healthy for my boat, Monty. Don't judge me. This is the work of the beavers. I was wondering why the water level was so low. The beavers built the dam here. So there's, it's, it just seems so low. We said hello to our neighborly angry beaver. All right, this is. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh. Oh no. I'm getting a fish, but my my line's all messed up. No. It's gone? No, it's not. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. No, it's still on. No, it's a little bass. It's a little boobster. A little boobert. Hello, Bobbathy. Barbol Bobolomew. This is where I feel like the walleye are hiding. Oh, there's something. Ooh. Yeah. It's a booby. It's a boob. Oh, booby. Booby, please. Booby, Bobby. Ooh. There we go. Not too bad. Well, hello, Mr. Bobby. Oh, Bobby, 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 Bobby. Oh, yes. All right, let's let him go. We got a nice Bobby. And if anyone is wondering, since I knew it was going to be very hot this trip and sunny, I did get Monty some like organic, like sunscreen nose protector stuff, and I rubbed it on there and. He gave it a little lick or two and then left it alone. So it seems like it'll at least, it'll add something. So I get, I get worried about his little snooter. <laughs> Put on a new one. Like I said, don't. Oh. There we go. Hey. Do not hesitate to put on new leech. This could be your future. <laughs> Booby! Booby! Boobert! Booby! Please! Boobis! Here we go. A nice bobbit. Let's fish for really scam. I definitely have a poop coming on. And I am I don't like it. Oh dang it. Oh I see. Yeah. It's more it looks steaky, right? Oh yeah, it looks like a little bit of filet. It looks like somebody just yeah. the steak. Mmm. Beef biltong? Bil biltong. Air dried beef slice. Mmm. Hot summer day. Whew. Might need to take a little swim again. Little Bobby. Boberto. He wanted you to catch him is what it was. Oh, 
I got one. Oh, and he let go. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Bobbis. Yeah, they seem to be right in here. Did you say the bobby hole? Ooh, that's a, that's a decent one. Oh! Okay, horse... Ooh. All right, I'm gonna... Oh, we got him. That's a, that's my my biggest bobby so far. Uh, it's still it's still nothing crazy, but this is still fun. That's a good sized bass. Right? That's a 16 incher. fish there. <laughs> okay, we are getting a little bit hungry. We could snack or we could go maybe make an early dinner and then go for some nighttime walleyes, which is what we're thinking might be a little bit more delicious. So I think we're heading our way back and we'll see what we're gonna eat. I think I think early dinner would be kind of nice. Yeah. We just pulled through to go through this little beaver dam in the making and uh, we definitely scared off this beaver. He's right up ahead just chilling. Oh, beaver, please. One more. <laughs> Bobby. That was a pretty good dive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. It's another booby. Oh yeah, this is a these are decent sized. Ooh, booby. Booby. Oh jeez, booby. Oh Bob. Bobathy. Oh, that was a bad one. My favorite is still that. Ron Swainson's thrush. It just, it sounds like echoey. Ron Swainson? Swainson. Swain. Ron Swainson. Swainson's thrush. Is that where Ron Swanson got in Who's Ron Swanson? Park and Rec. Ron Swanson. Come on, Monty.
I just still think it's funny, like, how good he is. Yeah, he is. There's a turtle up at camp just laying eggs. Oh, he's about to dive off? Yeah. Oh, don't do it, buddy. <laughs> that turtle was definitely laying eggs, but there's nothing we can do. This is where the campsite is. This is, you know, this is right. Yeah. Hopefully, she'll find a different spot. This turtle is. It won't leave us alone. It's a harassment turtle. Are you pooping? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. First sunset of the trip. Not too bad. Not too bad. There's just fish jumping, there's bugs surfacing. Depends on how we're feeling after we eat. We might go for some walleye, we might just fish from camp. We don't really know. We'll, we'll see how we're feeling. But we are about to make some food. And as you know, we brought out a hula. So what we are having for dinner today is Monty's favorite thing, bacon cheeseburgers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're not, ha we're not having Monty. We're having bacon cheese, we're having bacon cheeseburgers. So we've got the burgers, we're gonna cook them up in a pan. We got the bacon, we got some crappy American cheese, uh, we got some buns, Monty's got a little venison because he's such a good boy. And on top of that, we are gonna, I think we're gonna fry up some potatoes and we're gonna have corn on the cob turned into elote. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> so we're gonna get cooking in a minute here. This is gonna be. Mm. Mm. Cha 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 She's probably gonna be digging for a minute, like. Yeah. I just let her do her thing. You chill. Yeah, I don't think she really cares about us. I swear, like, I, only, I gotta look into that now with like all turtles. Monty, 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 Monty! Monty's confused, he's like, where was it? What was that thing? He doesn't know what it was. Oh yeah, that's 
some nice firewood right there. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, yeah. So really the only thing to like prepare cut up wise is the potatoes. I've got these teeny tiny little russet potatoes, a little itsy bitsy. Uh, so I just got to cut these up and then we're pretty much, everything is just kind of, you know, cook it up and add some spices and seasonings and then we're eating. Yeah, these are going to be like a fill your gullet thing. Let me see how this one looks in the pan. Man, these are big potatoes. I was wondering, I was like, is he, he's kidding when he said these little tiny potatoes. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we only need one potato. Yeah, that's. I'm fine with one. This is like the fifth time we've almost stepped on this turtle because it's just like, it's coming onto shore and it's scaring the crap out of us when we're walking around the campsite. I don't think she laid any eggs before, it's just rocks. She's trying to find a spot, but it's all rock here, so. You can see her digging, and she doesn't really care about us, like, at all. Monty has been freaked out by her, so we don't want to call him over, but definitely. Maybe we should grab a stick and help her dig. <laughs> Tina is our pet right now. Like, she does not care at all. Like, we've been walking over her to get back and forth to our food and whatnot. She's just watching us. All right, Tina, you carry on now. We're going to add a little bit of vegetable oil. And yes, we brought out this vegetable oil only for these potatoes and nothing else. I don't even get any ideas. We're going to throw on some black pepper. Some salt. Not too much salt. Not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. So we, we knew we were cooking delicious food, and we knew we were going to be out here. We knew it was going to be like 80 degrees the whole time. It's super hot, so we weren't sure if we're always going to want a fire at night or having to get that much firewood to have a ripping fire to cook over. So Lucas threw out the idea of bringing his jet boil grilling stove with a little propane tank, and that's going to make cooking easier and... Like I said, it's very hot. It's still like 70 some degrees. So we're kind of sweaty still. We don't want a big ripping fire. So we're using this to cook. You want to do me the honors of firing it up? Yeah. How, how does she start? Ooh. Boom, one strike. Ooh. It's a thing, right? Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, legendary one strike on the, the cooker. Monty has ground venison we brought out. He gets a little bit of that. We'll see how long we can stretch it. Oh yeah, scrape that bottom good. Oops, I should have. It's your fault, somehow. Get that below there. How do you feel about Montreal on your burger? Um, for it. Add a little bit of Montreal onto the one side of the burgers. With all that going, we're gonna get the corn on the cob starting to roast on the fire in the husk. All right, let's prepare a little Monty food as venison's cooked up. We're gonna add a little kibble. Got some multivitamins, some joint supplements. We're gonna add a little pumpkin powder. We're gonna mangle it with a stick a little bit. And then we are gonna let it cool down and we are gonna feed it to the goodest boy. You know, you can flip them if you want. No, no, I'm gonna let you do that. <laughs> you, you what, you what? I'm gonna let you do that so that way when one of them ends up in the dirt. You can't blame me for it. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not going to get like a good char on them right now. <laughs> they're going to be a little sloppy, but like I'm going to care. We can just turn up the flame at the end. Mm -hmm. 
Where did your little two purse? Go ahead. Yeah, I think he's excited about that. They'll get a little charred, but are you cool if they're a little overcooked to get charred? I don't care. Cheese on there? Huh? I said a one. A one? A two? <laughs> if you wouldn't mind distributing the bacon. All right, I'm gonna try and do even rubbery to crispiness. Do your best, a rubbery forget rubber. the rest. I don't know what you just did, but. Huh. Oh, yeah. And then we were supposed to split a piece. I mean, that looks yep. enough, but. Split it. Okay. <laughs> I have deemed it crispier. How much mayo you want? Gets up. This is why we're here, remember that. These are gonna be so wet. I feel like it's just. <laughs> I don't care. It's gonna drip. I'm warning you. <coughs> Slap a little more ketchup on mine, too. That's good. Oops. <laughs> this thing is gonna drip so, <laughs> so much. <laughs> oh, a gnat just flew into it. We gotta evenize the pickles. Oh, you can have five. You like pickles, right? Uh, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Four pickles, no more, no less. Let's pick it up, just like a. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. This I is... can't let go of this. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna take mine. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. For the elote, we've got some mayo and sour cream mixed up. I'm going to slather that on here. And I'm going to sprinkle on a little Parmesan cheese. All right, we're going to squirt a little lem or lime juice all over the top. And we got some cilantro. And last but not least, for a lote, you need some chili. But I did the order wrong, but I don't care. Okay. It's time to feast. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and if you're wondering what we're doing with all the trash, like the, the foods, pieces, and stuff, we're putting it back in the cooler. So we're keeping it cold and keeping all the stuff like that in the cooler. So... Definitely gonna be a challenge to see if we can keep it cold for five days, but that's neither here nor there. It's bacon cheese part. I feel like I need a bath after this. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth probably looks disgusting. Mmm. Mmm. God, my lips look. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, this corn might be the best part. Is it good? Mm hmm. I'm covered in mayonnaise. <laughs> it's all over my face, I know it. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. Monty, I don't really feel guilty, I'm sorry. Let's try this out. Mmm. Mmm. Corn good. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> after you eat all the cilantro off the top. <laughs> I did the same thing. I just got like, first bite, all cilantro. <laughs> We ate delicious food. It's getting late. It was a lot of fun cleaning up the mess, so I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Piggy, piggy. Oh. 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 Joy slept pretty good. But we're going to get up and start to the day. Oh, let's do it. Hi, hey, Monty. Oh, hi. Hey. Come here, Monty. Come here. Ow. I'll get you. Okay, all right. We're thinking we're gonna move unless the wind seems too crazy because it gets pretty windy on the other lake. And it seemed a little breezy. Yeah, so we're gonna make some breakfast. Um, and we're not just gonna make some coffee and oatmeal. We're gonna call this trip the fattening because we're eating good. We're about to make some breakfast burritos or breakfast tacos, whatever. I'm excited. More good food. Let's do it. Okie dokie, for our breakfast burritos, we're gonna start with a little bit of garlic. I'm gonna crush it with my thick thumbs. Mm. I'm just gonna give this the old rough chop here. Throw this in our pan. Next, of course, we've got the white onion. Let's use half. Got some red bell pepper. Alright. And then let's get to cooking. Especially if it's windy probably. Like you can just go wide open. Is it on? Bacon's always got a little seasoning on there. Oh yeah. A little grease. I don't like it, I like it cooked. Uh, they're in the cooler, yeah. I just... Bacon. Red pepper, onion, garlic. Hash browns. Oh yeah. Monty's mangled mush consisting of boiled water, pumpkin, and treats. Sweet, innocent, drooling Monty. Go ahead, Monty, get it. Good boy. Yeah, we're just gonna have to. Stir him. Yeah. Didn't get that patty flip like you were hoping for. Nope. I'm only going to show my two, so don't think that I'm not feeding Lucas here, okay? 
He's getting his off screen and assembling it on his own free will. We can, we can both have our ways of assembling. I'm going cheese first. Damn, the flies are just like, hey! They have found us. Some hash browns on there. How many bacons do we get? I don't know. Honestly, one looks like. Divvy them up. Get a little sour cream on there. We've got some salsa. And last but not least, oh, damn it. we're going to throw on a piece of bacon. I'd use all three of my pieces of bacon, but sweet, poor, innocent Monty needs a slight chunk of bacon. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is some backwoods breakfast burritos. Oh, yeah. Let's eat. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I like that. All right. Monty's little bitty piece of bacon. Good boy. Now, for those of you that are like, oh, he's not, he's, he's getting the short end of the stick. You gotta remember, he's got the, the spine fusing vertebrae and he needs to keep his weight in check so he can't have too many treats. So, that's at least what I'm gonna tell myself. But, he's getting his. Don't you worry, he's got, he's got plenty lined up but he can't have this human food. Oh yeah, okay. all right. I don't think these are burritos. Brushed out the stinky Monty so he's extra perfect and fluffy. Had to get a quick shot before we get him wet for the day. There you go, Monty, go get it. Go get it, Monty. Oh, good boy. It's a Monty wearing a Monty wig. How ironic. Go ahead, get in. Come on, Monty. Come on, Monty. Get in. Get in. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. Good boy. Oh, jeez. I don't lick that. It's sunscreen. And we are off for the day. We have decided that it is a pretty breezy, and with the way that the wind's coming, we'd be fight. We'd be getting slammed by the wind on that big lake, which is where we wanted to travel. We wanted to go to another lake, and uh, we just took our time making breakfast burritos and sleeping in, enjoying the wilderness too much. <laughs> so yeah, we're just doing a day adventure. We're gonna head back to where we went yesterday. See you later. Have a good one. Have a nice trip. Make sure you record lots of footage. Uh, yeah, you want to hand me that? <laughs> <laughs> We got here. Well, it's got to be a bass. It's got to be a bass. Oh, it's a booby. It's a booby. It's the boob stuff. Oh, there's something going after it. What is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. There's like seven bass right here. Lucas! 
Get over here. Oh, that's a big piggy. That's a piggy puppy. There we go. That's not a bad bobby. That's like another 16 incher. Oh, just my paddle. You can't hide your begging eyes and your smile is with the price. Here's some beef jerky now. Uh -huh. Ow! Jeez! Watch your bite, mister. Look at you sitting on your high horse in the back of the boat. What? This creature. Run Captain's Wafer? I bet you he does. He wants to drool off my seat. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so what we've decided is that we want to have one of our fish dinners today. And we're not catching walleye. We might go night fishing for walleye, but we're just going to keep some bass. We like bass. I like bass. Bass are delicious. Um, walleye are preferred. We're not on any uh, lakes with Larry's, and we don't want Peter's. So since we've just been catching bass so easy, we're gonna keep uh, probably three, about 14 inch bass. Nice little eaters. Dinner. I got the pike. Man, that was a free that was right off your boat. I was gonna do it until the pike bit. Oh. That one counts. I wanted him to free, be free. Is that the same one? Give me the fish. Give me the fish, man. Give me the fish. There we go. What an ordeal. I had a hornet in my net that I had to deal with before I could get this thing out. I see this guy just hanging out inside my net, so I'm holding it underwater with the net so that it can't fly out. But I got my fish in the net as well. The wind's just blowing me into shore. I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to set the thing free. I had to grab my pliers and just pinch him with my pliers to kill it before I could pull it up and get my fish out. You don't catch a fish, you're gonna have to start calling me Captain Fish Dinner. Captain Fish Dinner? <laughs> Hooked Monty. Oh my god, I just hurt my head. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Teenager almost made Monty's day a little bit worse. day in the sun out in the wilderness you know sounds good the 
ice cold Coca Cola. Wish I could have one of those. Oh! <laughs> you did your exclamation while I was still still in the shot. <laughs> It's like not even out of my hand yet. <laughs> oh, I feel like with an ice cold Coke, I need some kind of like gourmet snack to wash it down, to wash down with. It'd be good, like a, a Triscuit with some salami, turkey, and maybe some like white cheddar. Oh, ooh. Actually, a Triscuit with prosciutto wrap mozzarella would be better. Oh, ooh. Actually, both sound good. Oh! <laughs> I don't know how good this is going to say, This is not going to come together good at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was an mm. attempt. Mm. Yeah, the turtle's back. The turtle? Yep. Still lurking. Mm. Oh, that was pretty good. It almost satisfied me, but I'd rather have like a an icy chilled fruit cup with like pineapple or something. Ooh, okay, all right. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That was pretty good. I could go for a, I could go for a rice pudding. Oh, look at that! It's not James rice pudding, but this is gonna do. It's so good. <laughs> you might do a little rice pudding. It just doesn't look right. Oh, it's turtle. that turtle. I was just about to say, is the turtle back? <laughs> Monty, stop. Monty, it's fine. Monty. Monty does not like the turtle. She's back. She's back. Go ahead, Monty. Go say hello. I might snap at him. Well, then he'll learn. <laughs> He's so sketched out. <laughs> just like, I don't know what that <laughs> thing is. Oh, I mean, would you just look at that? That's some high quality firewood. Oh. Stay. Stay there. He looks, he tries, but he won't remember all the spots. Thought he was cheating. He's laying down. Okay, we are back in the boat going for a float. Yeah, we've got an hour of light left. Well, about like 45 minutes, but uh, 
uh, some clouds have rolled in and just covered the sun. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a pretty good time to try for some walleyes. Ain't no damn fish in this pond. <laughs> I just saw a walleye, we're heading back. I just saw a walleye in the water, but I cast on him and he didn't bite. So we're just kind of creeping and looking. Ah, God. Oh, the mosquitoes are getting bad. Yeah, that's why I shut my light off. Oh. I also just said so much for Sims bug shield. Oh. Why does it sound like the wind's picking up? Probably is. Oh, that lightning. <coughs> Was that thunder before? I don't know. This fire just won't go. <laughs> What's up with you and starting fires here? I don't know, man.
Oh, uh, so we've got lightning. We can see, and we heard a little bit of thunder. And uh, we're making some smallmouth bass Alfredo today for dinner. If we can get a fire going, I think we should just use your st I mean, we got coals, but it ain't, it's just, I don't know what it is. That's quite the fire. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gets to cookings. We'll get this garlic going. Ah, a little double, triple, a little bit more. That's good. While I'm doing this, would you mind taking the smaller pan, putting a nice chunk of butter in there, getting it heated up, and then the bass is over on the rocks. <laughs> Wait, why don't you just say cook the bass? <laughs> uh, where's the butter at? Behind me. <sighs> Alright, well the butter is not like perfect but this pan is too small for this. But guess what? We're going to throw a Montreal in here. I don't know if you can see this but this is the three fillets, and this is one, that's for Monty. That means the two full grown adults are gonna pretty much get the same amount of fish as the dog. I think at this point, let's just, let's just bust out the jet. The jet boil? The grill. You son of a <laughs> Me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I've been hoping and puffing on this <laughs> fire for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's just, about to get going. Like. It is about to get going, but I want this fish to be cooking now. <laughs> Wait, we need some butter for Alfredo sauce. Garlic in here. Okay, so we've got the fish going, we've got some butter with the garlic, heating up, oh shoot, oh jeez, okay next to the Alfredo we're going to add in some lemon zest, that I zested before I came out, alright now this is a problem, alright now to this buttery goodness we're going to add some Flour. Taking my spot back. Oh. I'm gonna mix that in there. Making a roux. Mm. I'm gonna add two percent milk to this. That big black thing in there. What Garlic. Oh. <laughs> it's so you hot. Do I have anything longer than that? No. Not here. Do I have anything longer than that? Do I have anything longer than that? Do I have anything longer than that? To the Alfredo sauce, we're gonna add some cream cheese. It looks beautiful. There you go, that's good. Now we're gonna add in a bunch of Parmesan cheese. It is so hot. To the Alfredo sauce, we're gonna add some salt. Not too much salt, not too little salt. Just the right amount of salt. It sort of looks like some good stuff there. Mm -hmm. All right, we just added some black pepper in there, but my battery died. I'm gonna add a fart, but some parsley. We interrupt this program to bring you the breaking news that the fart counter has been disabled. Let's go to Jimmy in the field for more details. Thanks, Johnny. That's right. 
The fart counter has been disabled due to the massive amount of farts being caught off camera by Captain Teeny Trout. We're out here in the field right now on a portage trail to take a look at the last time Captain Teeny Trout really let one blow. Let's take a look at that footage. So as you can see, Captain Teeny Trout comes up right here. And let's freeze for a moment. This is what is known as a power move. He's got one leg lifted in the wet muck boots. And when he creates a fart out of this bottom right here, it is going to have more force, more propulsion, and more power than any normal fart. Let's take a listen. That was pretty good, but let's enhance that sound to get the true sound of what really came out of that bottom. Now that is a 10 of a fart. So, these are the types of farts we would be missing if the fart counter were activated this time because the camera wasn't recording, and let's just be honest. We always be farting, but we don't always be recording. Back to you, Jimmy. Ain't that the truth. Anything to add there, Jay? I'm not wearing pants. Neither am I. We all know we love it. We all know we'll miss it. The fart counter will return as soon as possible, and we will let you guys know when that is. Because gas is the music of the- <laughs> Johnny! Sorry, I, I, did, I didn't know. Sorry. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay, the sauce is ready, the noodles are done, the fish is done. Let's get this thing together. All right, we're gonna drain a little bit of the noodle water into the pasta, like that. The noodle's in there. Mmm. All right, that's looking pretty good now. All right, Mr. Mr. Lucas, bring your plate over here. Serve me up, Daddy. <laughs> Serve me up, Daddy. That's funny. That's good. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Oh my God! <sighs> Just fart all over my dinner. <laughs> oh, into a separate. I mean, it's extra dishes to clean, but. Just push all the noodles down. It'll one be side. fine. Scrape everything to one side, it'll sift out. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's Hold on. You're not done. Don't get don't you dare leave. You need some fresh parsley. I you ain't eating this unless it looks good. And then you need a little bit of parmesan. <laughs> it does look delicious. There you go, now you can take it. Excellent. <laughs> there we go. All right, Monty, have you been a good boy all day? Okay, yes, you have, obviously. Good job. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it has been very difficult <laughs> getting to this moment. I know you'll, it'll be hard to see us if Lucas doesn't turn off his headlamp, but he probably never will. He might do it, there it I goes. see my food. <laughs> You can leave. You can leave it on. <laughs> Turn it down. No, you're fine. I can't see my. <laughs> I'm blind over here. Oh, okay. Is your sauce enough? Mm -hmm. you sure, you don't want some of this extra sauce. Hmm. Okay. It's delicious. We're gonna just sit here and watch the lightning roll in. I'm gonna have nightmares about this turtle harassing us. It keeps crawling up on the land. It won't leave us alone. I see a turtle. Just, just leave us alone. Please. It's just waiting for us. Just waiting for us to be done so we can crawl up on land and just dig little holes. Creepy. Focus as far as possible. Yeah. You probably have to manually do it. Well, there was a little lightning. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh. Monty, do 
Do you think it's acceptable to lay all over my stuff? Hmm? I invite you into the, the tent. We got you a sleeping pad, which you've already popped, by the way. And you popped mine first. Oh, and, oh now you're going to do that, huh? Don't you dare close those eyes. Don't you, don't you dare close those eyes, mister. Anyways, the th thunderstorm's rolling in. Uh, it was pretty sweet. We were watching the lightning there for a bit. But I'm tired now. That was some delicious food. Another good day in the sun. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully tonight brings a thunderstorm. It's just starting to get our first drops of rain. Anyways, I'm passing out. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Don't hit the camera. Huh? Oh, he slept pretty good last night. Whereas oh, lots of lightning and thunder is wonderful. Good morning. Well, it's breakfast time, and we're going to make biscuits and gravy. That's right, Monty. Oh, there's still plenty in there. I know you love things that nest. I do. I love nesting. All right, we've got some hot Jimmy Dean's premium pork sausage. We're going to make some gravy. There's a little nature's pepper in there. While our sausage is going, we've got to make the bannock. Bannock is just simple three ingredient bread. There is uh, 
think I got two cups of flour, almost a teaspoon of salt, and I hope the proper amount of baking soda powder, not soda. I think it's like what, a tablespoon and a half or something. You want my spoon? I just stirred coffee with it. It it'll, it'll get pretty gnarly. I mean, I'll be able to wash it, right? That's true. Yeah, we'll use your. We'll use yours. Or well, let me give me my spatula. <laughs> Wait a second. No, 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 no. Then I can eat before having to wash it. There you go. That's what I was thinking. That's why I don't want to use mine. Oh, thanks. Wow. You were making us use that dinky little thing and you had this? <laughs> Do I have anything longer than that? Do I have anything longer than that? Do I have anything longer than that? <laughs> You're even I burning your I own hands. At the moment I saw you burning your hands, I was like, I have to go get it, but we'd come too far. The meal was already done. And you didn't even think to bring it up. The trick is you don't add too much water at first. Oh, and you. There's gonna be a lot of water in there. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been a little... Always keep some of the mix on the side. That's a little too much. We're gonna wanna make some more of that. So in case it gets too wet, you just add a little in. Your head is so narrow. You guys got that creepy slender face. <laughs> slender face. See, this is what we want. There we go. Oh, it's a little wet still. Well, a little bit more. But a little hole in the wall diner, and I was like, man, I bet this place is just gonna have the best biscuits, biscuits and gravy. Something about just being up north, like the place is <laughs> small. It is the worst biscuits and gravy <laughs> I've ever had in my life. Like, it had this. It was like turkey gravy. It was. It wasn't like a. It was like. It looked like turkey gravy. This will be some pretty good biscuits and gravy. I think you're in for a treat. You like you like biscuits and gravy, right? Mm -hmm. I love biscuits and gravy. Yeah, I love it too. You tell me how this rates. It's got some eggs or something. Come here. Come here. Huh? Oh, all right. All right, come here. Sit. Lay down. You want an extra special treat? A raw venison bone for the old man stinky. Courtesy of the cooler with ice. Yeah, Monty, go ahead. That's yours. Go ahead. He's gonna run off with it. Yeah, he's he's not gonna eat it there. This is this is too valuable. Honestly, I think that would be the easiest way to do it. Oh, I could chef flip that. I just don't wanna. I would do it over the cup. <laughs> so, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh no. That's not so bad. No, it was pretty good. Why are you laughing? I think the fancy chef flip might have been a safer bet. Now we're good. This is, this is great. I'm satisfied with how this turned out. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's be real, we're gonna turn it into poop anyways. Yeah, it's all big poop. Yeah, I can't pack that until I'm done anyway. No? That's like, it literally goes at the bottom. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, you can get everything like, sacked away. I just don't mind making the gravy slow because uh, I do not like doughy bannock. Ooh. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna add some butter. Oh, that's what I need the flour for, is the gravy. All right, now we're gonna add in flour. All 
All right, now goes in the milk. We're gonna add some black pepper. Not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. We don't need too much because there's some in the gravy. I added a little bit of extra milk. Let's see how's this looking. I'm gonna add a little more flour. It might get a little clumpy. I'm sorry, Lucas, but I added a little extra milk. Come check this out. Maybe a little thicker than that. A little thicker? Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit, okay. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. That. All right, how much? How many biscuits do you want? Like, what are you thinking? Uh, I don't know. I guess just split them. Does that look pretty good? Uh, this one's pretty thick. That looks fine. I don't need a ton. I'm just gonna. All right, yours just got doused. I'm just gonna plop mine in here, like this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is some biscuits and gravy. You may need a little more gravy. How would you feel right now if you got hit with a little ice cold orange juice? I almost forgot. <laughs> oh yeah. And don't worry, if you're worried about Monty, he got his venison bone and he just got his full breakfast. He is completely fine. <laughs> we're gonna have a little bit of a mess to clean up. Don't worry about it. We'll, we're picking up everything. <laughs> just, oh my. <laughs> star diner <laughs> feels like it go get it no you go get it you go get it yeah I know you like it you're just a little weird the SS good times come on come on right here all right we'll make it easier over here all aboard there we go and we are off Okay, as you can see, it is blue skies and glass. It just came out of nowhere. It was just cloudy. Then all of a sudden, we just felt like heat and mugginess. And then just in that moment, it was just a little touch of blue skies. And all of a sudden, it was just now it's just hot, sunny, and calm. The wind died. Yeah. Uh, we had to move from that site because we were being harassed by that turtle. And we couldn't take it anymore. She wouldn't leave us alone. She was just lurking in the water day and night. She was there this morning. I saw her little head poke out. I'm going to have nightmares about that turtle for the rest of my life. But uh, anyways, we're heading back to the big lake. We are going to paddle along that, and we're looking to portage to another lake today. Um, there are Larrys in the lake. We'll see, though. We're going to check it out. If it looks beautiful, we'll probably stay there. We might come back, stay on the big lake, and have a nice view from there. We'll see. It's up in the air. But either way, we're changing campsites today. Thank you. 
him, Monty. Get the stick. Go get him, Monty. Good boy, get the stick. You think he's gonna try to bring it back? <laughs> oh no, Monty. <laughs> Monty. <laughs> he's bringing it back. It's an entire tree. Monty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not on me, but <laughs> that's quite the stick, Monty. I just slipped on these rocks and fell in. That's wonderful. I was just casting this, waiting for Lou. Ooh, that's a pike. Ooh, that's a decent pike. Ooh, that's not a bad little, uh... Whoa! <laughs> yeah. I don't, I just don't want to lose my lure. Got him. Oh, yeah. That's pike of the trip, fish of the trip so far. That's about a 20, 26, 27 inch thick pike. Let's let him go. I'm going to say 25. 25? I'll go 26. He's stubby. He, like, he looks fat. Yeah, he's a thick pike. All right. Yeah. Where are we at? Mm, he's about 26 and a half. 26 and a half? Yeah. Coca-Cola Classic, the beverage of wilderness travelers everywhere. <laughs> this will hydrate me. Oh, oh it's so good. Uh, paddling for three miles every 20 minutes we have to let Monty out and swim so he's gonna be licking and squeaking because it is hot 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 You asked me was it worth it to carry this 
heavy cooler with all the water and ice from the whole trip down this steep hill and wet rocks for a quarter mile. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> I just want to dump it on my head. Yeah, I'm sweating. Needless to say, um, this was all decline. There's no way we're bringing back any of the water. We're going to eat all the food. We're staying here until this thing is as light as a feather. It's as light as the plastic and trash and stuff. Because, yeah, we're not carrying this up that hill with all that weight. No way. It would be miserable. And Lucas broke off this handle before we left the truck. <laughs> the wilderness. Bringing buttholes and butterflies together since the dawn of time. Hey buddy. <laughs> he's so scary looking when he's like a foot away just like, <laughs> That's like a giant muskrat. Like that. Ah! Find the treats, go ahead, find the treats. This is the no pants, no problem tour. We are going to just set up camp here. It looks like we got some clouds rolling in. And then we're going to uh, head out fishing, gather some firewood. Then we're gonna make an early delicious dinner. Then come back and fish for walleye right from camp with that, we got water rushing in. <laughs> I just want to cover up my bulge. I don't want, I don't want to, you don't need to be, no one needs to be seeing that. Mountain is high, the valley is low, you're confused. Oh, set up, oh, bad looking at my set up. Huh? Bad looking at my set up. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> you know your your home for the I evening? You, I thought you meant your fishing pole. I was like, what do you got to set up? <laughs> no. My my humble abode. My dude, was it dirty enough? Dang it. <laughs> I feel a little something, something there. That department, mm-hmm, yep, yeah, that's, that's what I say, that's what I say. We are back into boat. We have got two hours of sunlight left. We're gonna fish this lake a little bit. Um, and then probably gonna fish for walleye right from camp because we got rushing water right there. And then we'll probably gather some firewood right now. Uh, we got some ominous looking clouds rolling in. Could get another thunderstorm tonight. Mwah. Mwah. Oh my gosh. I see the mother of mother of down trees. I have to go fish that. Look at that tree. It's beautiful. I just don't even see how it's possible that there's this big tree. Oh. That's what happens when you snag the branches. Alright, we're gonna do the old try hard trolling. So on the bottom, I've got my glass shad wrap with the rattler that I caught the pike on earlier. And up, we're gonna run a tri swivel, and we're gonna run a watermelon three quarter round spoon off the back. Let's see if it swims. Hmm. It's hard to say if this is gonna actually swim. All right, so that immediately got a tangle. So we're gonna try the old wombo combo that I got the double Larry with, which is an eerie deary with a leech off the bottom and then the chartreuse slayer. I just had a 40 inch, I'm not even kidding. It was 40 to 50 inches. It bit the chartreuse slayer and it barely got hooked. Dang it. Oh, that was a monster. Oh. 
there's nothing I could have done differently. I was bringing in the line and I saw him chasing it, so I stopped it. And then uh, he bit. I had him on for a second though. I saw him just bite it and just, oh my gosh. That I couldn't even speak. That was a massive, I, I'm, you might've been able to see that. No, you couldn't have seen that. You can't see past the boat. Oh, that, that was this, at least as big as the one that I had on, that I lost right next to the boat. That thing was huge. Oh gosh. I think this is a pike. Oh, 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 that's a big pike. Oh, oh, you want to finish this? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that thing was huge. Slayer on the bottom, and I'm going the jointed floater on the top. One of these days, I'm going to catch one of these. We're going to measure them. Oh. I'm just trying to think of what I could have done differently. I've just got too much hope right now. <laughs> I'm like, please. I don't want to catch the biggest pike of my life tonight. It hurts. Oh, you know, I just had a casual pike the size of my leg on. Oh yeah, this, I think we'll catch him here. 100% bro, we're catching fish tonight. <laughs> We're gonna catch so many walleye tonight. You won't even be able to keep the the leech in the water. We got a fish. We don't know what it is. It was pulling pretty good, but now it's not. That's got me almost nervous. That it's a, it is a pike. I don't know. It was. It felt like a log when I hit, but like now it feels like nothing. Oh, got my heart racing for a minute there. We'll see. We'll get this out of the way. Yeah. It feels to me like a 25 inch pike right now. It's staying down though. Oh, it's, is that, that's a pike. Doesn't seem very big. 60 incher? No. Is that a pike? No, that's a walleye. No. I think. I can't tell, it's a walleye. It's barely hooked. It's barely hooked. It is a decent one. 
but it's bare. It's yes. Oh, that is a beautiful walleye, dude. That's like a 24 inch walleye. <laughs> oh, <sighs> I told you the 100% walleye. <laughs> we were just, just <laughs> oh man. That was on the floater. <sighs> that feels good. That feels so good. I thought this thing was getting off for sure. He's barely hooked. I thought this was, there was no way that's a walleye with the way he was, ooh, I want a, I want a measurement on this guy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that is a... Twenty. It's just below twenty-four. Nice. Just below. It's like twenty-three and three quarters. That's a fatty. Yep, twenty-three and three quarters. So you're gonna... <sighs> Beautiful walleye. That is. I think that's a personal best walleye for me. All right. It's official. That's like a whole dinner right there. Yeah. This is everything we need. We gathered some firewood while we were out, and now we got to get to processing for tonight's dinner. We're gonna do a little lazy processing where I can sit on my butt. Oh, that's some uh, solid wood there. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we are having a just a dehydrated ribeye steak with fresh Brussels sprouts and mashed potatoes. But it's dehydrated. So all we've really got to prepare is the Brussels. Teeny tiny little healthy portion of butter. Probably a little more healthy for health. All right, we're gonna add some black pepper to the Brussels. Thanks. And then some salt, not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. Thanks. We're gonna rustle our Brussels. <laughs> you know what concerns your, me? You may use your fingers. I don't want my steak on. Ah! <laughs> Little Montreal steak seasoning. All right, where's his tongue? I let it go a little. I just <clears throat> when I'm fire cooking steaks, I don't like to. I don't risk it. Oh! Come from this side, you fool! Don't tell me what to do. Ah! Here. Get out of here! <laughs> oh, oh, you're cool dancing with that left. Oh! Ah! 
Oh, jeez. All right. These are going to go off the side a little bit here. This stuff needs to keep going. I mean, I'm liking the looks of that one. What about you? Well, yeah, we both like that one. <laughs> that one obviously looks way better. <laughs> I was just curious. I mean, like... Oh, you're I didn't me. Know. I mean, if we, if, if we didn't want the same one, then what's the point? <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can convince myself to like the other one. I mean, rock, paper, scissors sounds fun anyways. I mean, it, they both look good. That one looks better on that side. A little more of a sear around there. This one. Oh, yeah, that one does look good. <laughs> We're doing shoot? Yeah, rock, paper, best scissors. Rock, paper, best two out of three or one? Uh, best two out of three. Best two out of three? All right, rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. I got one. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn it. <laughs> rock, <laughs> paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, <laughs> paper, scissors, shoot. Damn it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just kicked Monty in the face. No. Did you fall on the ground? <laughs> yeah. All right, so Lucas won. He gets choice of steak, which he's picking that one, I know. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> oh, there's a twig in there, Monty. He doesn't mind. I think we're ready to eat. Uh-huh. And some mashed potatoes in there. And with the fork of approval, that right there is a meal that could fill up two adults, but it's going to be consumed by one. Let's eat. Okay, the big chief. Oh yeah, that's hot, Monty. We need a little bit of this, okay? Let's just add some of this. Give it the old one, two, three. Stir it for Monty. That's, that's pretty good, Monty. Are you ready? Do you want your food? Good boy. Is, there, is your steak still good? Mm-hmm. How's your Brussels? They're delicious. Yeah? I swear something just like flew into it. They're, yeah, the Brussels are good. Mm. They're very brussels -y. Mm. Very brushly. Mm -hmm. Is that good or bad? They're very firm. My bad. That's it was fine. supposed to be softer, but I didn't have a lid for the pan. I don't mind them like that, but I mean it with a fork and knife, like a uh, a heathen. Come on, there we go. Oh no, they're not. Hmm. It's so good. I don't have words. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is gonna make the best poop. You can give them a couple pieces though. Just, just like one or two. I do not want him puking in the tent. Been there, done that. <laughs> Your scrape. Oh, that's a good month, Oak. Monty. Oh, piggy, 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 piggy. Oh, you want? You gonna oink? You gonna oink? Oinky, piggy. 
Oinky, oinky. Oh, yes. Look at his little, little dead leg in it here. He just doesn't care. Anyways, that was a delicious meal. I crushed it, and it just... It was the... I feel like that was one of the most filling meals so far. I think that was the most filling meal so far. Either way, it's time to pass out. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. This creature is a whole tent. And he comes right next to me and spoons me. There he's the little spoon. It's a big mosquito. <laughs> We're chilling. It's raining. We are going to be sitting uh, for most of the day if it's gonna be like this. Uh, we're gonna make some bacon, eggs, and hash browns for breakfast. Drink some coffee and just have a relaxing day. Yeah. I got Monty for all over. Uh, 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 oh. Well, a little nature's pepper. There's some people that like perfectly flat pieces of bacon. And there's some people that just like any bacon. I am the latter. Yeah, I will say we've done a pretty good job of cleaning our dishes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, let's flip these over easy eggs. Got it. <laughs> oh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Wait, 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 don't move. What? Where's the fork of approval? Fork of approval. <laughs> the fork of approval! How can I eat without the fork of approval? Fork of approval. Let us eat. You want a little salt and pepper? Yeah. Ooh! Ah! Ah! Monty, because you're such a good boy, and everybody loves it, you get some bacon too. Mmm. Mmm. Breakfast at one because it's so dang fun. Just so the people don't think. Mmm. Have I you made your offering? Mm-hmm. 
It's a Monty with a little stick stuck inside his tongue. He doesn't even realize it's stuck there. Cause his mouth is so open. <laughs> Look at that stick stick out of his teeth and tongue. Why is it there like that, Monty? What have you done? Monty T. Why is that sticking out of your mouth like that? What are you doing? Monty T T T. Monty T T T. Let me. There. Do you miss your stick now? All aboard the SS Weathers Fish, you'll catch him. Come on. Great job. Great Scott, Monty. All right, we have got a beautiful day. Rain has stopped. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head out and do a little trolling, a little fishing. See what kind of wildlife we can see. And then, uh, yeah, see if we can catch that big pike. We'll go troll for it. Also, that walleye caught yesterday, my personal best walleye, I'm just gonna say 24, because I can't go around saying, oh, it was a 23 and three quarter inch wide. No, it was 24 inch. And it could have been. I was, you know, it wasn't perfect. I mean, it might have been 25 or 26, but I'll settle with 24. So it was a 24 inch walleye, and I won't ever be told otherwise. <laughs> fish. There we go. There we go. Ooh, is that a pike? Oh, it is a pike. It's a little pike. Little Peter. I'm gonna laugh, he snaps your line right now. Oh, he's, he's hooked perfectly. Perfectly? There's a loon right there on the shore. Lucas just spotted it, but she's on her nest, so you don't wanna get close to those. Because she's got eggs or babies underneath. I'm not really sure what process she's in, but she's definitely on her nest. That's pretty cool. Oh, that was like a 26 inch pike. That was definitely a decent pike. Oh, he's bit it. Maybe he's not 26, I don't know. No, he's, he's not, he's like 24. Yeah, I was just thinking around turning on my camera. Get your camera ready. He's gonna swim right by us. So we're just going on this narrow channel past this nest and here's the other one. And we're going right towards him. He's gonna definitely swim by one of us. Probably on your right side. You should just backwards paddle the other way. Just had a pike snap my line, felt decent. But I'm gonna throw on the uh, watermelon three quarter ounce Cleo. Go for a bigger fish. He keeps checking me out. Hey buddy, oh, come on. Come by the boat again. Yes, we're on. Oh, 
And Teeny Trout says he's got a big bass. Big old pig smallmouth. That's a decent peak. This insane fog has rolled over the lake. You can't even see across the lake. I mean, you can barely tell that there's trees on the other side there. It's just craziness. We we're coming off the lake and it's just, you couldn't even see camp. I've gathered all these perfect sticks for you, for your throwing pleasure. Which do you choose? Get the stick, get the stick. No, go get the stick, go get it. Get it, Monty, go get the stick. Get the stick. That one? That one? You sure? That was a little long. That was a little... What about that one, Monty? Go get that stick. What about this one? Go get that stick, Monty. Is, is that the one? Monty, get the stick. That one? That's a pretty big one. Stick, Monty. Hey, you like that one? Gotta thrash it and see if you like it. Go get him. That was not bad. All right, Captain goes to bed too early. Has suggested that we make an early dinner <laughs> so we can go out night fishing. And I was like, okay, fine. Guess he's sick of eating midnight dinners. 
So we're gonna start our fish tacos. Yay, Monty! So I'm going to be making a cabbage slaw. And they're gonna be loaded with fish. And we're gonna add some lemon juice because we're making a little lemon slaw. Brussels sprouts, but I like cabbage. I feel like Brussels sprouts are just... Then, in this pan, we're going to make rice. Parboiled white rice, except we're going to do something a little extra special. We're going to add a little lemon juice. To that, we're gonna take the rest of our cilantro. I'm trying to do my own version of a bad lip, bad lip reading. How is your fur all over my bag? Then we're gonna add in our rice. All right, suki jerky. Ooh yeah. Got avocado. All right. We're gonna leave the, the rest of the cilantro for our tacos. That's probably good. Boy, he's gonna get a venison bone too. I just realized that. So for battering, you always wanna have one dry hand, one wet hand. I bring this up every time. But you gotta keep these hands separate. That way, it never makes that gooey clump. Do we have enough for that? Are the special trees? Here you go, Monty. Here you go. Oh yeah. That would prepare your tacos. You got the tortillas. Don't stuff to the bottom of it. Yeah, this looks pretty good. A little bit of cilantro. A little bit of Chipotle ranch that we pre-made. Oh yeah. That looks pretty dang good. I've outdone myself once again. You've, out, you've outdone yourself. You sure did. You brought the right guy along. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Hoo-wee. Mmm. Mmm. There's only one thing that would make this better. An ice cold Coca-Cola. Classic. The beverage of wilderness travelers everywhere. Ah. 
Chipotle Ranch. Yeah, there's plenty. Mm. Mm. Get the the fried fish. Yellow cornmeal. Chipotle ranch. Aerate it. Mmm. A fresh avocado. Mmm, that cabbage. Mmm. That's a 10. Oh, yeah. Now that is a fish taco right there. We got the fresh cilantro, the cabbage slaw with the lemon juice, salt and pepper, the cheddar cheese, the chipotle ranch made with, what do we do? We took adobos, Funk took adobos, chopped them up for us, mixed it with ranch, the crispy fried fish. Oh yeah, let's eat it. And this here meal marks the end of the use of the cooler. Uh, we didn't think that the ice was going to last for four days. It's day four. Right? Is it day four? We still got a little bit of ice. Will I do this again? Probably not, simply because carrying around a cooler is slightly an annoyance, but it was delicious while it lasted, and it's lasting till right now. Mm. You drooling, Monty? Go ahead. Come on, Professor Stinkles. Come on. Come on. There you go. Perfect. Let's go. We're off. The sun is setting like right now. The mist is lifting. Um. We're gonna get out here, we're gonna set up the tri, the tri swivel with the uh, floater and the uh, chartreuse slayer. And we're just gonna troll around and see if we can pick up a pike, walleye, laker, whatever. Something nice. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Hey, hit me with that turbo light. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> it's so bright. He looks super cute back there. Yeah, he's just chilling. This is the smallest pike you're ever gonna see. but pushing farts out as hard as I possibly can. <laughs> yeah. Every time. I've tried to conceal them before, but it's, it just never works very well. 
The only time I'll really n not fart is meeting someone's parents. Oh, well, yeah. I got fart shamed by our friend group. It was uh, zombie bowling, and I ripped a, just a bomb, and <laughs> I was just like trying not to say anything, and then someone was like, did you fart? And then I started cracking up, and they all started to shame me. They're like, you farted the use, and everyone was just like... They singled you out. Oh, yeah, just like... That's what we do to Julian. <laughs> How long are you guys stuck in there for? It was like right as right before we were about to get out. Oh. Like, he just <laughs> bombed the guy, and then we got out of his car. Like, <laughs> Don't you scrape. Don't even think about it. Oh, that was a good boy. All right, can I pet you, piggy? Hey, piggy. Anywho, uh, we just made a fire, chatting by the fire for a good hour or so, let it just burn down, and, uh, it's a little misty out there, so we're gonna pass out now. So we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. I got you. Monty, it's a final full day. Let's get outside and let's go and play in the sun. We have so much fun. Let's do it, Monty. Yeah, but give me that butt. Show me your trick, Monty. Clap your legs. <laughs> he just got such dopey little feet. Ow! Ow. It's a beautiful blue skies day. So we're just gonna pack up and uh, we're gonna move sites today. We're gonna go up that portage. So I suppose. Let's queue up the coffee oatmeal sequence. Let's do it. We got a lurking, Monty Stinky. He wants some food. Look at him be- Hey, don't, don't you steal them treats yet. It's not done. Get it, Monty. Soupy. Well, I'm just going to finish up my breakfast and then we're going to get on that water to paddling, a portage, and a fishing. Uh -huh. All aboard the SS Good Times! Very good, very good. And we're off.
Okay, we're gonna start the day off right with a little stair-stepping technique I like to call incline portage. Let's do it! The Captain Taney found in his natural habitat. <laughs> Slaps his paddle like a beef. Told you the wind was just going to switch directions. <laughs> going against the wind the whole time. <laughs> well, we can just go up in this bay. What? Speak. 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 That's close. Speak. 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 Good boy, that's a speak. There it is. Okay, get it. Oh, almost. Good job. Back in the boat, going for a float. We need to catch a fish. Oh, there we go. Feisty piglet. Oh my gosh. He is fighting. Whoo. Might be jumping the gun again. This is one of the feistiest bass. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's a piggy. Oh. Nice big fat bass. Oh, there we go. Nice piggy bobby bass. That's a fatty. Oh, there we go. There we go. Another bobby. and say hello. I wish I had something to look. 
shoreline definitely looks nicer. Yeah, there's definitely some bass here. Okay, so we've been chilling for two, three hours. It took a nap in the old hammock. And uh, yeah, we've got an hour and a half of light left. Mm -hmm. So I'm about to make some food. And what's on the plate for today? Good old fashioned spaghetti. Spaghetti. So, let's whip up some dinner. Spaghetti. You want your treat? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Got one. We're doubled up. Ooh. Mine feels fairly hefty. Ooh. Oh, yeah. What is it? It's fighting weird. Might be something other than a bass. Oh, no. It's a bass. What do you got over there? Ooh, mine's a hefty piglet. Oh, chunky Bobby. <laughs> Ooh, that's the biggest of the trip for me. Oh, that's a fatty. Chunky chunk chunk. Oh, that's a big chunky. That's like a 18, 19 inch bass right there. Seventeen and a half. Hello, Tucker. Oh yeah, it's a chunky fatty. Goodbye.
okay, okay. <laughs> Come on, you man. Okay. This was the final full day of the trip. Caught some fish. Saw some cool loon stuff. Had another wonderful day in the sun. And, uh, yeah. I'm tired. So, I'm fast out. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning, Brindy. I slept wonderfully last night. We took the rain fly off. Um, we're gonna wake up. No coffee, no oatmeal. So let's do it. <laughs> look at that butt. Look at that butt. Look at look at it. Look at his legs. Look at his beefy little. Floof chunks. Look at these things. Look at look at that trick. Look at that new trick you're doing. Yeah, oh, they're swimming. Oh, 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 you're getting crazy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to clean up this crap, pack away that camera, we're going to get it under that water to paddle in. And that's it! Let's do it! Good job, Monty. Good job. And we are off. For the final time this trip. Look at the Captain Teeny Weenie Trout as he floats in the water contemplating life. What is he thinking about? He's thinking about how I got the biggest walleye. <laughs> and I got the biggest pike. <laughs> and if we believe him, he might have got the biggest bass. But I don't know. Do we believe him? I don't know. Hmm. I've got the eye of the carvers and I get a bacon cheese. I'll roll up and I will say please. Then we'll look at our little cute Monty, we'll get him ice cream, then we'll eat it and we'll feel good, oh yeah. Hey duck, nice mohawk, how's it going? Have a nice day. Oh, we got a loon. La -la -la loon. La -la -la loon. I swear I saw him coming towards us. There he is, he's right there. Well, we've got less than a mile to go. We're going down a skinny little channel so there's no dangerous waters. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to wrap this one up right here.
So uh, we had some good fishing, caught a personal best walleye, got a nice pike. He got a nice bass, we got lots of fish. Uh, ate deliciously, real deliciously, almost too deliciously. But that's not possible, but it kind of is. I don't think I've ever cooked four meals in a row for dinner and three breakfasts in a row at home. So that was definitely a first just in my life period. <laughs> and it's a little more tricky in the woods. But uh, we saw some beaver, we saw some loons, got lots of good weather, a little rain, a little thunderstorm, a little fog, and uh, yeah. So uh, we're just gonna finish up this paddle, get back to the car and drive for eight hours and get home. Uh, we're gonna definitely stop for a little, little treat. Like I said in the last video, Monty's not getting a bacon cheeseburger because he got too many last summer. He's gonna just get some, just a little something else, a little something cooler. But anyways, that is that. So as always guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys at the next video. What do you got to say, Captain Teeny Trout? <laughs> That's all he's got. You want a treat? All right, come on, get it, Monty. Good boy. That's a good little Monty. He's getting his little ice cream. He's okay, he likes ice cream. Remember, Monty, you got too many bacon cheeseburgers last summer, so it's just ice cream this time. Okay? Well, I got you a little bacon, too. Here you go, Monty. Yeah, it's bacon, Monty. Go ahead, eat your bacon. Good boy. Oh, yes, yeah, drool. Good boy. Hi, Rugus. Hi, Rugus. We're home again. We're home again, Rugus. Hi. You're so happy. You're so happy. Oh, it's a Rugus. Oh, it's a wild Rugus. Oh, hi. Ah. Hi, Rugus. Oh, you're so happy. You're so happy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, yes, we're home again. Yeah.